Hello, my marvelous pieces. How are we doing tonight, guys? So, it is Throwback Thursday. Uh, and we are doing a mold I haven't done in a long time. Long, long time. And that is a treasure chest. And anybody who's done the treasure chest knows the struggle is real. The struggle is so real. And the struggle is getting the hinges to work right. It's the struggle I had. So after I poured it, I said, you know what? I'm not going to fight with those hinges ever again. And I bought my own hinges to put on it. I also have another set that's a little bit bigger than this. I don't know which set I'm going to use. Might be this set, might be the bigger set. But regardless, we're going to use our own hinges. We're not going to, I'm not even pouring the hinges that came with it. They were horrible. They were so terrible to try to do. And I hated it. I love the chest, but I hated the hinges. So, I'm going to make it my way with regular hinges. Like I said, I may use the next size bigger because I do have some bigger ones. But, because I don't think these are quite big enough to actually go on the chest. Uh, but I want to do it sparkly and glittery. Uh, not just for Christmas, but New Year's coming up and stuff. So, it's like, you know what? I'm going to do a glittery one. Last time I did a brown one that looked like wood grain. Uh, I have this live mix. I've never used it. Uh, live mix number 46 that is from littleianrose.com and like I said I've never tried it so I'm going to put some glitter in here we're going to do quite a bit of glitter because I want it to be very sparkly and I don't want to see a whole lot of clear so it's going to be pretty heavy on the glitter it is so windy here tonight so windy crazy windy You know what? We're just going to dump some in. There we go. That's what we got there. We might have to add more. That might not be enough. Uh, I can still see quite a bit of clear down at the bottom here. Maybe not. I don't know. Because if I look at the bottom when I'm stirring it here, there's still a fairly decent amount of clear. A decent amount of clear in here, and I don't really want a whole lot of clear. So we're going to give it a little bit more. I'm going to give it a little bit more. This time I'm not going to dump. I'm just going to add another spoon. Let's do one more. There we go. Having a good night tonight, guys. I hope so. It's funny. I was talking to my friend today. She's been in the hospital a while. And uh, we were talking and we decided we want to go on a singles cruise. We teased. We First we said a girls only cruise. Because then we said her daughter could come. And her daughter's like, yeah, I'll go. I'll be your wing woman. And it's like. No, she wouldn't. She'd be too embarrassed. Man, her mom started acting, having fun and acting like a teenager. She gets embarrassed. We went to the casino one night and they had a band playing. Her mom was dancing and singing along with the band. And her daughter got so embarrassed. Mom! It's like, what? Your mom's having fun. Leave her alone. Not like she was doing anything wrong. It's a band, you know? What are you supposed to do? But like his parents, that's kind of our job to embarrass our children. Because God knows they did it to us. I think one of my embarrassing moments, I'll never forget my daughter. 
she was in a, I think she was in kindergarten. And they used to have them take like a test thing that they had to do before they got into first grade. And they would sit down there and ask him a series of questions, you know, what's your name, how old are you, blah, blah, blah. It might have been kindergarten. No, it was first grade, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, the guy asked her, uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? And she said, I don't have any sisters. I have, uh, I have three brothers. And, uh, but my mom can't have any more kids because she had her tubes tied. <laughs> He tells this to this male teacher that's doing his test, and I'm like, I wanted to crawl under the table. I was young at the time, you know, so that just totally embarrassed the heck out of me. I was like, oh my god, what did she just tell this guy? I was like, why did she say that? Okay, so I have this that I poured the other day. I have some left over here. I'm going to pour it in here. And we're going to cure this again. We have a two-part glitter going on here. Okay. And then I have a mold here that I'm just pouring leftover resin into. We are just pouring leftover resin in. That makes up way too much resin for that. And I knew it when I was doing it, but I was like, you know what, I have other molds I can pour, so. So what was the most embarrassing thing your kids ever did to you? That was one of them for me, was that one. I remember, still remember that to this day, or telling him that. Of course, there were a few times my kids said things in public that I was like, oh my God, they're not my children. I promise, I don't know them. <laughs> I found them alongside the road somewhere. I know I did. I embarrassed my great-grandmother. My grandmother never knew her, but my great-grandmother... Of course, she was, you know, she was pretty old when I was little. And, uh, because I was, I was my mom's third child. So, uh, I was, she was up there in years when I was born. Well, my dad called a bra a titty holder. And, uh, I might have told this story before. And we were in World Wars. If you guys aren't from here, World Wars was a... It was a, called a five and dime store. And uh, they had a lunch counter where you could go and eat, get lunches and desserts and food and whatever. And they had these little spinny stools and everything. Well, the store itself sold everything. Everything from candy to makeup to clothes to shoes to toys, you name it, anything. And they had these half mannequins up on top in the ladies section and they had bras on them. And I was little, and I guess I looked up, and I was like, Look, Grandma, it's a titty holder. And this 80-something-year-old woman, and keep in mind, this was in the 60s, so this wasn't, she wasn't accustomed to things like this, but he said, I said, Look, Grandma, it's a titty holder. All her little old lady friends were there having lunch at the same time. I guess she got upset, upset was so embarrassed. She got up and left. I think she went home. And, uh, yeah, she was so embarrassed. I didn't know anything wrong. I just heard what my dad said, you know. <laughs> I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. So, yeah, I guess I got my share of embarrassment out for my family. So, I guess it was paybacks when my daughter did it to me, huh? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to put this on the carrying machine, and we'll be back in a couple hours to demold it and put it together. Bye. Hello there, guys. We're back. So, I looked. I can't find the other hinges. So, if these hinges don't work, we may be not able to put it together. 
uh, I had, I, like I said, I know I have a bigger set. But these might work with it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wanted to pour this. I haven't, like I said, I hadn't poured it since then. It was a nightmare. It was such a nightmare. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. And I just really wanted to try it again. Throw back Thursday. I was like, you know what? I haven't done this in a long, long time. Very pretty. Now this is the back of it. This is where the hinges would go. Normally. That's a pretty... Oh my gosh. See, that did not look that pinky, purpley color. I like the... I did the last time I think I did these in black. This trim. Now this was the one that was tricky to get out. It was kind of tricky. inside plus it's on the outside that makes sense ah sorry now get over the little lip edge there okay This is so hard. Almost there. We are almost there, guys. We are almost there. Yay! Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was a job. Now get this thing back, right side back. Ugh. Wow. Now I know why I haven't done this very often. And then here's the end piece. It is the piece that goes right here. This way. Here we go, just like so. And then this piece, of course, with the two notches, matches up to the back piece with the two notches. But, like I said, these hinges that come with this thing were a nightmare. They were so bad. So bad, so bad, so bad. So, what I want to see if we can do... Like I said, I know I bought a set bigger than this. Because these are really small and I have a feeling these are going to be really finicky to try to attach on. I may try to use my tweezers and UV resin them. And then after I get them UV resin, if I need to, I can always get my little Dremel out and screw them in. But I don't think I'm going to try to screw them to start with. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so we got... gonna do three and yeah, maybe we'll do three and what I thought we would do is because we're gonna do one here one here and one here
this way. Still do it that way. All right. Got my tweezers here. Got me some UV resin, and I have my UV flashlight. I am gonna put my gloves on. At least one because I'm going to be holding the jewelry box while I resin that piece on. I just don't know how with this finicky is this the piece is going to be, how hard it's going to be for me to hold this with rubber gloves. We are going to try. Alright, so. Alright, so those tweezers are not closing all the way. So, we're not going to use tweezers. I'm going to use my needle nose. But we're going to hold it like it needs to be. piece right here a little shot of resin right here okay all right I gotta sit this somehow so I can get my UV light on it. be awkward here. Okay, that's not working. Okay, we gotta figure out how we can get this on here. So it will stay. Oh, never mind. I think I have an idea. So we can put this on here like so. And then I can bend it over. Just like that. Oh, I didn't glue that on. <laughs> I didn't attach that yet, so. Okay. This is not working. I need a way to do this. Okay, we're going to put... Here we go. Let's try setting it in here. 
that ain't gonna work. How about in here? Ah, there we go. Can you see where we're at? Okay, so we're going to put a little drop right here. Ah, look at that. Have it on there. Yay. Okay. So we're going to set this up here. The next one here. So we have the second one on. Yay! All right. Okay. Now before we put the last one on, We're going to attach these others to the box. Because then they can help kind of hold everything in place. Oh, no, I'm going to put the end on first. Put this on. So,
Okay. So you see I have them on there. So now we're going to UV resin this bottom one. Okay. Stand up there. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing over here. It's going to be really careful because you do not want to get it on the hinge because then it will not open and close. The hinge won't bend. If I had the next size bigger ones, they were, like I said, they were about probably twice this size. But they would have fit perfect on here. And I would have been able to. I have a little Dremel. I would have been able to use the Dremel and screw them in. And I may still be able to now. Like I said. Now that I've got them glued on. Because the screws are so small. And the holes are so small. I don't even know if they're screws. They might even be nails. I have to look. Okay, now I can put the third one on, and it's going to be easier to do because I don't have to hold it anymore. Okay, one there and one there. There we go. Okay, so let's get this where we want it. That looks right about where we want it. Okay, because we want the split right where the hinge is. How well you guys can see. I don't want to shine that light in your eyes. But I want you to be able to see what I'm doing because I know I've had people over the period of time that have done these chests that have struggled with the hinges the same way I did. Because I got a lot of comments after I did that video. People were like, oh my gosh, that was so hard to do. I would have thrown it out the window. I mean, I struggled with this thing, guys. Struggled. People were like, I would have threw it out the window. I'd have chunked it a long time ago. You got more patience than me. I tried and I tried and I tried and it just wasn't happening. All right. Are we on here, guys? Nope, we're not on. Okay. Here, not all the way on there. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I'm gonna put you guys on a pause. I'm going to put more resin on this and I'm going to cure it the rest of the way. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So I'm not going to be able to put that on there. I've tried, uh, I tried UV resin it on. I'm going to have to find the bigger ones and put them on. So we're going to revisit this later. But this is what it looks like, guys. And like I said, I'm going to get the hinges for it that I can screw on. This, these little hinges did not have screws in them. So I was looking to see. I was like, are they nails or screws? There's nothing. It's just little bitty hinges. So 
Uh, there are no nails or screws that came with it, so I'm going to have to find the bigger hinges. And we're going to put them on there. But we are going to revisit this because I really like this one. I think it turned out pretty. And we will demold this because this was a extra. So see, this is what happens. Sometimes things don't go as planned. And if that's the case, then you just adapt to it. Don't let it stress you out. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh my gosh, I was trying to work on a project and it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. I know, don't be so hard on yourself, guys. Nobody's perfect. And if they tell you they are, they're lying. There is nobody that is perfect out there. I don't care who you, who you look at, who you see. You know, we've all had fails. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. It, I'm going to learn from it because this time I know now these little ones don't work. These ones don't work for it. So, you know, I learned something. I learned that I'm going to need the bigger ones and I'm going to have to find them and put them where I know where they're at this time. Uh, but I also made a beautiful piece of, piece of artwork in the process that when I do finally get the right hinges for it, and the ones I got that are bigger are darker because I got them. This is the front piece that goes on it and it latches on the front. So this is the front piece that goes on there. But I'm like, the I got darker bronze hinges to go on the back and I got like one size bigger, maybe two sizes bigger than these. So they're going to fit better. They're going to be able to, I can screw them in with the drum on. We don't have to worry about gluing them. Nothing going to be glued on except this end piece and it's on just fine so we will come back to that hopefully if i can find them tonight we will revisit that tomorrow but here is our here is our mixed piece here very pretty uh the orb's not full yet so we're not going to demold it of course but yeah so guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet you know we we figure things out as we go sometimes and that's how we have to do things in life sometimes you just got to figure things out as you go because all the planning in the world sometimes doesn't go right so if you like the video guys give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do really please please do um i hope everyone has a wonderful night i hope your resin cures beautifully i hope your craft projects turn out amazing Hope you're all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Bye.